Okay. <laughs> According to a Zoom, we are live. Um, I have not seen uh, us come actually come up on YouTube yet because there's generally that delay that we will eventually get used to. But I do see us there now. We are live. Uh, it's Red Friday. It's April 12th, 2024. Uh, it is just me and Andrew again this week. Uh, I am currently uh, sitting at home. Andrew just got off drill down in Oregon someplace. And uh, Tim and Donna are still in Hawaii frolicking in the sunshine uh, and enjoying themselves to the point that, uh, let's see, uh, their timing did not align with today's toast. So uh, they did make an attempt to be here. Things didn't work quite out because uh, we've been trying very diligently to make sure that we're on time moving forward. So uh, they are missed this week. So Tim, Donna, I'll never say it again, but we miss you this week. That's your one time. Uh, other than that, um, we will uh, we'll move forward. Uh, the format will be a little different again this week as a result of them not being here. So I will do birthdays. Uh, Andrew will do angel dates. And then I will move into honorees. And this week we will have a few honorees because we will be saying the names of all of the service members that were honored on this year's 2024 Hawaiian Tribute to Fallen Soldiers Memorial Torch Ride. Uh, we've been following along with that ride all week and posting the bios of the service members that they've been honoring as they've been honoring them over in Hawaii. So uh, we will share those names with you today. Um, Andrew, do you have anything that you want to go over before we start today? Um, not that I can think of right now. I'm on a bit of a sleep deficit or deficit. So um, my brain's not fully engaged, but I'm just happy to be here and happy to help push this message and just do what we can. Perfect. Perfect. You know, my, my brain's never completely here. It has nothing to do with sleep. I think it's age and senility. So uh, we'll jump into birthdays. Uh, this week's birthdays, we have Sergeant First Class Ryan A. Gloyer. April 6th, 1982, Sergeant Ryan C. Noss, April 7th, 1998, Sergeant Gregory D. Byram, April 8th, 1964, Sergeant Craig D. Ford, April 9th, 1945, Lance Corporal Ty L. Hart, April 11th, 1994, Sergeant Justin M. Spears, April 12th, 1979, and Specialist Aaron S. Amat, April 12th, 1987. Andrew? Okay, this week's angel dates. We have Sergeant Lee D. Uh, Hoda Sheen, I apologize if I got that wrong, April 6th, 2004, Captain Brent L. Morell, April 7th, 2019, Lance Corporal Kelton S. Miller, April 7th, 2012, Private uh, First Class Jeremiah A. Plume, April 7th, 2016, Sergeant Michael T. Lilly, April 7th, 2008, Staff Sergeant Christopher Slootman, April 8th, 2019, Sergeant David S. Collins, April 9th, 2006, Private First Class Bryce E. Gautier, April 10th, 2009, Private First Class Garrett J. Boskett, April 10th, 2019, Sergeant First Class Brian E. Hall, April 10th, 2009, and Staff Sergeant Gary L. Woods Jr., April 10th, 2009. Perfect. Thank you, Andrew. <clears throat> As I mentioned, uh, there's going to be quite a few names on this week's honorees. Uh, again, these are the names from the uh, 2024 Hawaiian Tribute to Fallen Soldiers Memorial Torch Ride that uh, Maureen Williamson and his crew are uh, embarked upon as we speak. 
Uh, today is, well, tomorrow is the last day of the event. Uh, and uh, they have been uh, honoring service members over there since last Saturday. So we're going to start with Petty Officer 1, Mario Espino, Staff Sergeant Kelly Moore, Sergeant Ethan Crow, Captain Reed Nish Izuku, Petty Officer 2, Anthony M. Lott, Sergeant First Class Nicholas A. LaPlante, Specialist Christopher S. Honaker, Airman First Class Kongmong T. Vong, Sergeant Trinidad D. Rodriguez, First Lieutenant Jonathan P. Brostrom, Lieutenant Colonel David A. C. Shepard, Chief Warrant Officer 2, David R. Shepard. Chief Warrant Officer 2, Jennifer C. Hunter. Airman First Class, Richard J. Medina. Staff Sergeant, Jeremy C. Soroton. Major Mario Telez. Airman Trinity L. Reinhardt. Lieutenants Junior Grade Morgan L. Garrett, Staff Sergeant Ruben Ruiz, Sergeant Brian S. Guerrero, Sergeant Alexander U. Gala Galalak, Corporal Patrick O'Day, and Technical Services Analyst Rene C.K. In Abnit. May their service and their sacrifice never be forgotten. And Timmy would say, earn never their forget. sacrifice, <laughs> never forget. So uh, that is all of the names from that ride. Um, there are uh, a couple they still have not done, um, but uh, they will be finishing those up tomorrow morning uh, and uh, well, tonight and tomorrow morning. So uh, I felt it would just be best to do them all at once. Uh, and we will continue to honor these service members on their birthdays and angel dates as we do with all of our honorees um, every, every year. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see, what can we go over really quick before we turn it over to Andrew? We can say that, uh, everybody, the gang will all be together next Friday <laughs> for our toast. Uh, and don't make a liar out of me, Andrew. Uh, but we will all be together next week for our Friday night toast. Uh, be streaming live somewhere from Idaho. Location still remains unknown, but we will be together. We will find an appropriate place and we will do our toast from there. Uh, and then following our Friday night toast, um, well, either prior to or following uh, our toast, uh, we will participate with Ride for 22 in their uh, balloon release on Friday and uh, their annual ride on Saturday the 20th. Um, so uh, on that note, our, our toast will not be on time. It will not be uh, at 3.30 uh, next week. It will be um, as soon as we can get it figured out. There's a lot of things that we, we, uh, that we still need to work out. I will be riding out next Wednesday and heading over to, uh, to Spokane and I'm going to be recording episodes of Stronger Together for two days in Spokane before heading to Idaho where we'll be uh, recording more episodes of Stronger Together and uh, then uh, supporting uh, Ride for 22 in their event. So uh, if you guys aren't, if you're just tuning in, just joining us and you're not real familiar with what uh, Stronger Together is, it's a video podcast series we do every month in order to share with you some of the organizations that are available to you on our website. 
Uh, there are organizations that arrange all of the categories that we currently support for our veterans, Gold Star family members and active duty service members. Uh, and there is quite an array of uh, options that we have on there if there are things that you need or want. Uh, if you're an organization you'd like to be included on our website or in our video podcast series, uh, please reach out and let us know. Uh, if you are just somebody that uh, is, uh, uh, that that just watches along and joins us at events and 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 supports what we do, and there's something you would like to see us do, let us know. If you're uh, if you know of an organization you'd like us to reach out to and add to our site or interview, let us know. We're open uh, to all comments um, and feedback. We are here for you, and what we do is 100% for you. So if there's something that you feel we should be doing differently, please do not hesitate to let us know. Uh, that's really all I have because I kind of rambled there quite a bit. Um, so, Andrew, is there anything that you want to say in closing? If not, do you want to take us out the way you do every week? Uh, I will say yesterday while tinkering on the bike, getting ready for next week, um, I was actually listening to our most recent podcast that you did. And um, it it really added a new perspective, really, because I don't know if anybody listening in, watching this it has really tuned into that, but it really took a whole new idea to PTSD and Correct. just changing it from a disorder to an acronym for living life after an incident. Right. So um, it, it is a powerful ahead. episode. And for you that don't know, that is uh, the, this this month's episode is Leslie Maine, and she is the founder of the Permission to Stri Start Dreaming Foundation, mm -hmm. uh, an organization that was spearheaded by Leslie after losing her son, um, Kyle Marshall Farr. Um, it's it's uh, her mission. Her journey is powerful. Uh, listen to it. Uh, it's really good. And then just a little teaser, we'll throw it out there. Um, next month's episode will be with Nine Line and the founder of Nine Line. And it's a, it's a great organization and a great message to great interview. Uh, plug in, tell people about it. Uh, help us help us get these organizations out there because the more you share, the more uh, you talk about what we're doing, the more these organizations can possibly be found by the people that are looking for their resources. So back to you, Andrew. Yeah. So uh, again, it's just a new mindset to the acronym of PTSD. Um, sure. So it just really set a new tone for me and just really hit deep. So I'm, I'm happy to have heard that message and actually am hoping to later on, if we cross paths, be able to help push her message as well. But um as I normally do, uh, I, again, brain, uh, I guess it's my time to do my own little rambling and talking about awareness for suicide and people who are probably at that ledge. Um, if you see somebody that you normally cross paths with during the day, coworkers, family, neighbors, or a normal person you talk to at the store, talk to them and see how their day is going because they may, may be fighting a hidden battle that no one can see. So it's best to check in on each other. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just say, hey, how's your day? Or are you doing okay? And if it's in a setting that's proper for it, but um, more of if they're sending off the red flags subtly, just ask the question, are you planning on taking your life? Because if it is a true question and they are, mm -hmm. then they will more than likely open up about it and say yes or say no, but this and they'll lead towards it. But as long as we can get that question asked, that foot is in the door and we can hopefully start getting them the help that they need, that they deserve. Um, but if they aren't, they're just having an off week, then you're just, you just look like somebody who is really caring and just want to make sure that they're doing all right. Um, we just need to keep on buddy checks, 
keep checking in on each other. Um, it ebbs and flows no matter which season, depression, PTSD. It doesn't care about race, creed, gender, whatever. It'll affect everybody just the same. Um, we need to make sure <clears throat> that we're all doing all right, that everybody's just on the up and up because when the sun's down, doors are closed, people are at their loneliest. That's when it really likes to fester is at nighttime, business day is done. So we need to just keep on top of it, do a round robin on with our group and just make sure we're all doing our okay because uh the people and from even the experience with robin williams i hate to bring him up in this but uh the people that are laughing the loudest are trying to make everybody else happy maybe fighting the hardest because they want to make sure everybody else is not going through what they're going through so we need to make sure that we're even checking on those people that are just happy-go-lucky that are just taking it okay and just laughing with everything, we need to check in on them too. It's not always going to show up as in a mo uh, mood or just aggressive behavior. It's maybe it's just something being so happy that could be masking it that makes people disregard what they're actually going to be doing. So we got to even check in on those types of people because, again, it's it's a mask to cover the pain and to help others not go through that same. So we need to make sure we're checking on each other. Um, and if you are one of those people who are hurting, who are fighting an invisible battle, mainly at nighttime or any time of the day, there are resources out there. We have a list of them on our project roll call page. And there is the 988 number. You can call it, you can text it. And that will get you in contact with somebody real quick. And if you are feeling like you are at the end of your rope and you are about to make that call, step back from the cliff. There's even 911. You can call them, talk to a dispatcher. They'll stay on the phone. They will talk to you and they will get somebody in uniform out there to talk to you in person and help you through that hard time. Because uh, anybody who says asking for help is weakness, no. It is the strongest thing you can do to say, I am not all right. I need help. I cannot win this on my own. Because to admit that you are starting to have your line get overrun is strength, knowing that it is, you're not going in full bullheaded. You know that you need more reinforcements than just your own power. Just to keep it under the rug, bottle it up, is not going to go well. We need to call on each other. And if you feel like you're fighting that battle and you are starting to lose ground, reach out. Your battle buddies are around, neighbors, family members, coworkers, and if need be, 988, and just talk to somebody. That will help you release the pressure off the bottle before it blows up and it gets a lot worse. We need to check in on each other because the suicide statistic is way too many. We need to get it down to zero a day, zero a week, year, decade, hopefully down to zero forever. We need to nip this as soon as possible. And we can't do it on our own. We need to work as a team and fight this together. That's all I have this week. All right. Well, uh, thank you, Andrew. And remember, if you do, uh, if you are looking for resources outside of emergency res uh, resources, if you are stable, but you know that you need help uh, and you want to find groups to plug in, please go to projectrollcall.org. We have a list from there uh, under seven, several different uh, categories. So we're going to go ahead and sign off now. Uh, again, uh, we should all be together in the same place next week. Looking forward to that. It has been a minute. Uh, since we have, so it's going to be a good thing. Uh, I would just want to thank everybody that uh, tunes in and watches this, everybody that supports our page and our organization. Uh, we couldn't do what we do without you. So until next week, please remember, we love each and every one of you and you guys all matter. We're out.